So if we want our lives to be valued at £50,000, we have to say that your life should be valued at £50,000 because you're our neighbour. Now, would you agree that that is fairer than what we've just found in the Islamic law? You guys, the Sikhs, might be lucky to get anything at all because you're Sikh, right? Do you agree that that is unjust? If the Jewish state turned the Dome of the Rock into the Jewish temple, would that be Islamophobia? Would that be wrong? Jewish is a new people. According to Islamic law, if a Muslim kills a Christian, what comp and then a bad thing? I don't believe I actually have to answer that question. So now his rationalization is that we will discriminate legally against Christians to encourage them to the truth. Isn't that compulsion? I support the Christians. They, they liberated Christians from the Muslim oppression and occupation. And the excesses of the Crusades are condemned. The excesses of the Crusades they, they, they massacred Muslims. You know, that is past. So what, 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 is, what are you after? So Hagia Sophia okay. has been turned into a mosque this week. This is That's Turkish not land. in the past. That is Turkish land. That is it, the, Hagia Sophia, belong. the Hagia Sophia belongs to the Orthodox Church. But it is in the side of any side. It does not matter. Look, in Spain there are mosques. If, if, the state, if the state turned, if the state turned a mosque into a church in this country, would you say it was Islamophobic? Yes, I would say. So when the, a, a, a Muslim state turns a Christian church into a mosque, is that Christopher? No, but again, it is, it's up to the, to the ah, owner so of the country. It's, it's a prejudice. This is it's a prejudice when no, no, no. Christians do it to Muslims, but it's acceptable when Muslims do it to Christians. Ah, no, no, no. Okay. That's what he just said. No. Ah, he said that. wrong. Let, let's let's try saying, this again. Let, let's try this again. Okay, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Right? Logically. If the British government says we're going to turn Regent's Park Mosque into a Christian cathedral, yeah. is that Islamophobia? No, no, they should do it. This is their ah, they should do it. it is, oh, it's it's, but it, so it's not it's Islamophobia. You no, never say Islamophobia. No, no, we know, we don't say. But uh, you do say. You would say. We all know you would say. You know, ten, uh, seven years I think you're lying right now. Seven, seven years ago, they stopped the mosque being built in, uh, in uh, Islam. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Muslims, they didn't, you know, they just you accept that. that. This is not their that's land. Agreed. So what I'm saying, but if they turned it, if they turned the dome of the rock, if they turned into a church, the, if the Jewish state turned the dome of the rock into the Jewish temple, okay. would that be Islamophobia? Would that be wrong? Yeah. Yeah. Jewish is a new people. Answer the question. Answer that question, please. Not my question. Not my question. Not my question. Not my question. Okay. Not my question. No, no, that's, that's it's question. a perfectly fair question. If the Jewish state, if the Jewish state, there you go. What I'm saying, but he's trying to say it's not. Not Christophobic to turn Hagia Sophia Church into a mosque. When I see you, I don't know why. Look, look, you asked me at the beginning of this, do, do I, can I respect Muslims? Of course I do. I respect this guy. Because he's agreeing that turning Hagia Sophia Church into a mosque is wrong. Just say it's wrong. I don't know who says it's wrong. Just say it's wrong. They just don't know no, 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 about it's a fact. No, no, why, why is wrong? Why is wrong? Because the hadith, the hadith, I haven't finished. I haven't finished. He said, never turn a mosque. To, uh, to a church, church. Ah. or something that's similar. Yeah? Anyway, no, 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 no. So what they did in Turkish, which is uh, Mustafa Kemal, which is he was not a Muslim, by the way. He turned, he turned, he turned, he turned this uh, uh, what's his name, this uh, uh, cathedral, cathedral into a museum, which is wrong. All I'm saying, is to be excuse me, a church for the Thank Christians. You, sir, bro. You're a Christian. Good man. Good man. Good man. Because, Good man. because when I see that you are told the, the, the voice, you know, the anger. You're going you show, the wrong way to the hospital. Against wow. Muslims. Why should I not? And I say to myself, oh my God, you might. If the, if why, you why are, should I not be angry about the desecration of the church? If you are a mayor yeah, or, yeah, or a governor, you will, you will kill the church. Why, why, why should on, I hold not hold be angry now, about the desecration now, of the church? Now I'm going to ask you the same question. Yeah. When the French went to Algeria yep. and turned uh, church, uh, mosque to a church, was it wrong? Yes. Thank you. So now we are consistent. Well, you are coming for, with the peace or you're just coming is still a problem about the Muslims? I think, I think. What is that your agenda? My agenda is this. 
I'm going to stay with you. I'm going to tell you. So, wait a minute. Wait. 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 You have to just ask the question. Okay, okay. Yeah? If you ask a question, you've got to listen to the answer, bro. That's how it works. Right? My agenda is this Christians need to stand up for themselves. And if standing up for themselves means that they are end up in confrontation, that's what's going to happen. It doesn't mean that we go looking for trouble. It just means that we don't be a doormat when trouble comes to us. Yeah. Okay. So, is there anything wrong with that? To you and Mac, the there majority of you are not Christian. You've heard my agenda. But is there anything wrong with that? Is there anything wrong with my agenda? No, no, no. There you go. Yeah, there's nothing say, wrong with my agenda. I say, I think you have got this jealousy. Do you, do you think there's anything wrong with my agenda? Do you think there's anything wrong? Do you? As long as, as long exactly. As you, when people hear my agenda, no one's got a problem with it. Yeah. 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 Christianity doesn't teach really? that, Islam does. Really? Yes. Okay, so when they... So I'll prove it. Yeah, no problem. When they... In the, in, the, in the slavery trade, yes? Yeah, exactly. You, 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 understand, you, you, you know the code of uh, the, black, uh, the black code? Bro, what's that no, got no, to do with my point? It does, it does. Because the black code, you know, and the second alinea, or the seventh alinea, they say you have to evangelize by force the black. Yes? Okay. So this so, is, so, this here's is the difference. Here's the difference. The difference. What's the difference? Christianity, Christianity does not teach that, Islam does. Exactly. Really? So if it does, show me the proof then. Brilliant. I'll show you the proof. Yeah, I'll show you the proof. Okay. Okay. What about One South second. America? One second. One second. Okay. 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 You know the hadith. What are, what are the three reasons that a Muslim can kill a Muslim? No, 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 you know. I know, I know, tell me. Ah, okay. All right, well, tell us then. Oh, tell us, tell us, tell us. This is your claim. Oh, dear. So, oh, right. so, on, so here's the three reasons that <laughs> Muhammad gives in Sahih al-Bukhari. Okay. One, okay. that a Muslim kills someone without just cause. Two, that a Muslim, that, 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 that a Muslim, that a Muslim, that a Muslim commits adultery. Okay. Three, yeah. that they leave the religion of, of Islam. Islam. Ah, apostates. Right, now listen, just think logically, just think logically, just think logically. Just think logically. You, 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 I know I'm right. If someone says to you, right, if, if someone says to you, if you leave this room, I'm going to shoot you, does that mean they're forcing you to stay? No. Does anyone think what he said is logical? What did he say, boy? Repeat that again. So I asked him the question. Think about this yourselves. Make okay. your own decision. Okay, okay, okay. If someone say, if someone had you in a room, put a gun to your head and said, if you leave this room, I'm going to kill you. Okay. Are they forcing you to stay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, this guy said no. Ah, okay. Don't worry, don't worry. I will explain. Don't worry. Ah, he will, so ah, he will explain, explain to me how putting a gun to someone's head when they're in a room and saying, you can't leave this room is not forcing <laughs> you to stay. No, he will, he will explain. Okay. Oh. First of all, you said when someone forced you for no reason to be. No, I didn't say. No, you said. You said. Shall I say it again? Yes, yeah, say, no, say it again. Okay. So these are the three. Uh, everyone else, I think, listen. <laughs> he didn't. So, first reason yeah. Mohammed gave was if someone kills someone without a justified reason. Yeah. Okay. So, you can kill someone for a justified reason in Islam, it's called Kisas. Right? Okay. Two. Which, if you which is in a which is which in a new which, testament. Which, uh, which, testament which, way, which, yeah? which, 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 secondly, secondly, if you commit adultery. Okay. Third reason that a Muslim can kill a Muslim if they leave the religion of Islam. Ah, so it's that third reason yeah. that means that Islam forces people to be Muslim. Yes. Example, logically, think. Yeah. Okay. If I had this guy in a room yeah. and I said to him he couldn't leave and he yeah. says, I want to leave. Yeah. And I say, try it, bud, I'll kill you. <laughs> Am I forcing him to stay? Yes. Right, so if I'm a Muslim yeah. and I want to leave Islam okay. and this Muslim says, if you leave Islam, I'm going to kill you. Is he forcing me to be Muslim? Yes. So Islam does teach compulsion in religion. Perfect. The hadiths contradict the Quran yeah. because the Quran says, let there be no compulsion in religion. That'd be abrogated though. So the Quran and the hadiths contradict one another. Ah. Now, something that is self contradictory yeah. is not true. Right. Well, let's talk about no, 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 I need to, 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 so I need to bring a counter-argument. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Excuse me, can I say something? It's a good way, it's a good way. No, I'm talking about it. Excuse me, you convince them to become a Christian and he cannot convince you to become a Christian. Loads of Muslims are becoming Christians. Loads of Muslims are becoming Christians. You can become a Christian. You can become a Christian. That's right. 
But you do you so accept, accept, excuse me, do you accept Muslims who are born and bred in this country? I'm sorry, I'm not having your country, you had a chance. Yeah? No, no, no. Do you accept Muslims who are born and bred in this country as a full of your country, man? Let me answer this question. Let me answer this question because it's a fair question. It's a fair question. But you've got to listen to the answer. I am willing to give Muslims in this country more rights than a Muslim caliph no, would you, give to a Christian to, in an Islamic country. I want you, the, I want you hardly to accept them as your countryman. I have just you, said... You, listen no, you to don't. What I'm saying. Saying. You didn't listen. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? What did I say? That you would give more rights to a Muslim in this country. I would give Muslims in this country more legal rights than a Muslim caliph would give a Christian in an Islamic caliphate. Okay, okay. Do you want me to prove that? So, shall I prove that? Yeah, prove it, prove it. Prove it, Bob. Prove it, Bob. You're unfair. That's when I asked you. You wanted him to join in this conversation. No, no, no. I let him speak. Do you want me to prove it? No, I say you have got so much and you're talking from you facts, bro. How could you talk talking from, talking from facts? facts? It's like a, you Let's know, fact you just wait your turn. You just wait your turn. You just wait your turn. Wait your turn. Wait your turn. Wait your turn. Okay, so let me prove to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me prove to you. I'm, I'm getting asked, can I stand in the shade? Because I'm really getting burnt here, sorry. I'm, I am white. You know, it's not everything about being white is privilege, I promise you. <laughs> oh, Bob. So, guys, I, I have just said to you, wherever this Muslim brother yeah, yeah. Well, that I am willing to afford and support the idea that Muslims will have more rights in this country than an Islamic caliph would give to a Christian in a Muslim caliphate. Why not? Why not? Why not? Now, I'm, I'm, now, I'm, going to, now I'm going to prove it. Now I'm going to prove it. Now I'm going to prove it. Okay, let him prove it. Let him prove it. Let him prove it. Excuse me. You know wait, that? No, hold on. on. Uncle, let him prove it. Let me show you my proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's the score? Let, let, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me give him my proof. Yeah, let's fact check. Guys, you're talking about the past. Bro, caliphate. Bro, bro. Be patient, uncle. Let me speak. Right? Everyone heard me. I support the idea that every Muslim here should have the same rights as me. Yeah, you say that. So I will support the idea that Muslims should have more rights yeah, yeah. than a Christian will have in an Islamic caliphate. caliphate. Yeah, Let yeah. me prove that. I'll prove it, Bob. Now we all know the principle. Well, if you're a Muslim, you know the principle of kisas, which is the punishment like for like. like you know, if I blind you, like you, know, you get to blind me. He knows, he knows, he knows. If you cheat on my wife. Right. I don't know, I guess maybe I get to cheat on your wife. If you, if I kill you, you get to kill me. It's, I'm just Stop explaining it, the principle. It, 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 I'm just like, explaining he'll, 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 he'll. I'm not rushing, bro. No one should give me. Wait your turn. <laughs> patience. 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 The idea of blood money is something that is established in the Quran. Okay. If I kill you, yeah. your family has the right to have me killed. Ah, okay. Or they can accept money as compensation, which is decided by the caliph. That's Islamic doctrine. Ah, okay. okay? Right? Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Muslims told me that. <laughs> Muslim scholars told me that. Takia, takia, takia. They're all pretending that I'm making this shit up. I'm telling you, this is Islam. What is that? What is that? What is that? One second. One second. One second. What is the third solution? One second. No, 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 no. Please, One why second. is the third solution? Hey. The third solution is complete forgiveness. So, he forgot to forgive. so the principle. He's yeah. a liar. This guy so is, the principle of kisas. So the principle. Don't go. 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 And Muslims understand this, they apply this by how the rightly guided caliphs apply this. And we know what the rightly guided caliphs did by the use of hadith. So listen, listen to what the hadith say about blood money with regards, with regards to Christians. Notice the triggered uncle doesn't have the patience to listen. He doesn't have the patience to listen. So, in Sahih al-Bukhari, yeah. number 9, 83, 
50. And this is also supported by similar comments in Sahih Al Bukhari 1, 3, 1, 1, 1, okay. and in Sahih Al Bukhari 4, 52, and 283. Okay. It states this what does it say, Bob? the legal regulations of the Dia yeah, and the releasing of yeah. the captives and the judgment yeah. that no Muslim should be killed in the Kisas. Well for the killing of a kuffar. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah. That's me. Ah, okay, okay. That's every Christian here. <laughs> so in other words, yeah, yeah, yeah. if a Muslim kills a Muslim, yeah, yeah. their life can be demanded. Ah, okay. But if a Muslim kills a Christian, their life cannot be demanded. Wow. So Christians or Muslims are not equal in law. Wow. Example number two. <laughs> Abu Dawood, 39, 4527. Listen carefully. Listen, listen. The value of the blood money at the time of the apostles of Allah yeah. was 800 dinars ah, 800. or 8,000 dirhams. Okay. And the blood money for the people of the book, <laughs> who's the people of the book? The Jews are Christians. the Christians and the Jews, ah, okay. was half. Of that class. of a Muslim. Wow. Half the money. So the wow. life of a Christian yeah. in Islamic Jesus, law Jesus. Yeah. is yeah. not yeah. equal yeah. to the life of a Muslim. Ooh. That means that Sharia law stands yeah. for yeah. injustice yeah. and Christians yeah. have every right yeah. to yeah. oppose yeah. that injustice. Yeah. By yeah. contrast, yeah. Well, I'm, fin I'm finishing, last point. Last point. Yeah. By contrast, yeah. Christians yeah. live by the Dialogue. code that is Love thy neighbor as you love yourself. So what rights I want for myself, I give to this bro. So if I want my life to be valued, I give the same value to him. Islam does not do the same. We can do better than Sharia law by following the Bible and by following the Christian faith. That's right. Go on, go on. Praise the Lord. so about the blood money yeah. so that was actually the second one okay it's from abu dawood 39 4527 listen i'm not talking about the hadith I'm saying what you mentioned what i mentioned was what was in the hadith no you made you submit some mention about the blood money yes you mentioned two points we go back to the point you mentioned okay so i'll restate my points so so the point that i'm making yeah yeah is that the blood money paid for the life of a christian is half that of a Muslim, which means that Christians don't have the same legal rights. That's the last point. Okay, the other point, which is that, which is that, in the exception of the Hanafi school, that all Muslim schools, with the exception of the Hanafi school, state that you cannot kill a Muslim who killed a Christian. But if a Muslim kills a Christian, his life can be demanded as punishment. Which means that Christians do not have equal rights in Islamic law. By contrast, Christianity is better than Islam. Okay, go ahead. Because Christians say, love thy neighbor as you love yourself. So if I want my life to be valued at £50,000, his life has to be valued at £50,000. If I want the punishment for killing me to be that you lose your life, it has to be the same for him. Islam does not reciprocate. Nothing. Okay, can I ask my point? Which one can, I, can, I, can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? Well, which point are you talking about? The one you mentioned is about the blood money. Yeah? Yes. The blood money you mentioned is something to do with Rashid Rambo. I can't hear you. Rashid Rambo, the blood money you're talking about is the equal right to have the amount you give altogether. Yeah. So yeah? the first point, that's what I'm saying. Now, you mentioned a point there. Again, I can't hear you, bro. Love, I love, love. You're going to have to speak up, yeah? You've just got to speak up. I can't hear you. Okay. You've got a mask over your face and you're mumbling. Speak up. Take a mask down or speak up. I'm trying to hear your point, but you need to speak up. Okay. Yeah. Well, 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 the first point you mentioned, yeah, about the blood, blood money, 
So you mentioned that there's no actually forgiveness for the blood money. So the man will give, that you could do, uh, do right to dirham and uh, dirham, and you give specifically, that the amount you give there, that you cannot give in that sort of thing. Remember that point you mentioned? No, what I said... Go back to the first point. Let me just read, let me just read it again. Go to that point. Bo, 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 you didn't finish one point at a time, innit? Bro, it's up to you to remember the point you want to talk about. But that's why I'm going back to the first point you went to, innit? So let's you read it again. Point, so you, let you read it from the back of your head. You know, Maybe we'll get around to it if we investigate it some more. Let me ask you this question. Do you agree with this principle? Okay? That the value of the blood money at the time of the Apostles, do you think this should be applied today? Was 800 dinars or 8,000 dirhams? Never. This is the bit I want you to comment on. And the blood money for the people of the book was half that for Muslims. So do you believe that if I am killed by a Muslim, the blood money paid to my family should be half of what is paid to yours? The narration you read it from, is it from Sahih It's Abu Dawood, 39457-4527. I've given you the reference. I'm just asking if you agree with it or not. I've never heard it. He's never heard of it. never heard of it when you mentioned it. never heard of it. That's not the question I asked you. The question I asked you was, do you agree with it? It depends on the circumstance. The time. Depends on the circumstance. So depending on the circumstance, the lives of Jews and Christians should be half that of Muslims. That's what he's just argued. Depending on the circumstances, this brother's life is half that of mine, sorry, half that of his, and my life is half that of his, and his life is half that of his. Well, quarter is a little more than ten percent up. Saudi Arabia does it. So the point is, why should do you now? Let me reverse this. Do a thought experiment with me. If the British court systematically applied a system that said, when I got run over by a joyrider my family would get £50,000 in compensation. But if you got run over by a joyrider, because you're a Muslim, your family's only entitled to 25000 Be honest now, because you're told to be honest, even if it means speaking against yourself, would you call that Islamophobia? No, he wouldn't. <laughs> Does anyone believe him? No. I don't believe him. I think he's lying. I think you're lying, bro. I think you're lying. I absolutely guarantee you would be calling it Islam. What's happened to me? Let's get to the main point. But that's the main point. This country is based on so-called claim of Christianity, etc. The law on the issue of will, for example, yeah? What's the, what's the issue of will in the country? The equal rights. Uh, I'll be honest, again, I didn't hear everything you said. Right, so the equal rights. Look, bro, you're going to have to speak up. I have a noise behind me. Project your voice. I can't hear you. I can hear you. That, because I've got a good voice. I can't, you've got a crap voice. Speak up. I can't hear you. Okay. So what I'm trying to ask you, is that clear now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, speak up. Go on. So, Chris, Chris, in regards to this country, Chris, Christianity in this country today, yeah? Same point you mentioned right now, in regards to the Muslims, yeah? What do you think the, the law in this country regards to actually, you know, the contribution? Do people get equal rights with regards to the, the, the money they receive within the equal rights of, of the will? You understand what I mean by that? No, I have no idea what... You've got to project your voice, bro. Like, for me to answer your question, I have to hear it. Speak up. It, it just does Right, so the principle that I'm asking you, Right? And bearing in mind, this is what he said. He said in some circumstances he agrees yeah, he with the idea that a must. No, no, this is what the principle is. Listen carefully because he didn't listen. Yeah? It said the blood money. Are you listening? He's not listening. The blood money for the people of the book. So that's the qualifying factor that they are people of the book was half that as for Muslims. Do you agree with the application of that principle? I'll explain to you. It depends on the time. Now, time today, and at that time then, it's completely different. It's completely no, I'm asking you now. You can write then and now, it's completely different. So you don't agree with it? You have to look at the situation. I haven't looked at the situation. So, so the, the situation is, what I'm, to I'm going to explain the situation, because you're, you're dodging and everyone can see you dodge. No dodging the question. Everyone can see you dodge, bro. You are dodging the question. Okay. When did this time Here's the question. When did this time Here's the question. When did the situation happen? Is Sharia law, uh, a law applicable today? In this country? No. In, in a caliphate. No, it's not, it's not in a caliphate. It's not caliphate today. Do a hypothetical experiment with me. All right. A hypothetical. Yeah, what is a caliphate? Right. A, th a thought experiment is a perfectly reasonable way of determining our thoughts and establishing truth. 
So I'm asking you to do a thought experiment. This is a, a well-tried philosophical practice. What is the, the thought experiment is this. Let's take one point at a time. No, 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 no. I am... What is the kind No, of no, I want you to answer this question. Yeah, yeah. No, I want you to answer you, you know you're not. You're trying to bury this conversation in, new, in, in technicality. No, the question is really you simple. Right. So many people right. around us today, they want to understand what a caliphate is. What a is caliphate, caliphate is where Islamic law dominates. And there is an Islamic ruler who rules by Islamic law. Okay. Is there anything wrong do, with that? Do you have this woman in this country today? Not the question I'm asking you. I'm asking you a question in. No, it isn't. But not yeah. the question I'm asking you. The question okay. I'm asking you is that if, in a hypothetical world, we had an Islamic caliphate, would you want a law like that to be followed? In this country? In an Islamic caliphate. Wait, you have to, you have to be specific. Oh my come gosh. On, on, Does anyone want to... I'm not going to shout because there's a beautiful little child there, yeah, so I'm not going to raise my voice. Where? Would you like to hear him answer my question? Well, ask him, ask him, because he, he seems sincere. Okay, I'm, I'm, you're not answering my question. So let me ask someone else. Are you, are you a Muslim? No, no, no. no. Fair enough, sorry guys. Seek, seek. Yeah. Where? So, Location? Let, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to ask okay, you. Okay, do you're just not thought asking. experiment with a Let me do a thought experiment with you because this brother's just avoiding the question. Okay, okay. So in Islamic law, it teaches this, right? It says that the people of the book, that's Jews and Christians, yeah? Does, you guys don't even get a mention, right? <laughs> right? Jews and Christians, that in the payment of reparations for an illegal murder, the blood money that's paid in compensation is half between a Christian and a Muslim. So if he, his family gets paid 50,000 in compensation, our families will only get paid 25,000. You guys, the Sikhs, might be lucky to get anything at all because you're Sikh, right? Do you agree that that is unjust? Do you think that's unjust? No, no, we, we, that's not, we don't know if that's an authentic source or not. Yeah, yeah, it's an authentic source. It's Abu Dawood 394527. Sahih al Bukhari, I've just given it. Listen, listen to me. So, so, so go on. The narration you mentioned there, is it authentic? How do I know you, don't, you didn't write that down today? Yeah, that's what I do. I just make up hadiths and come here with proper islam. Yeah, 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 of course, that's what I do. I just make stuff up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I just made it up. Okay. I lied. Let's go back to, let's just, go back. I just wrote it down and made it all up. Let's go back to your point. I didn't get it from an Islamic website. I didn't get it from an Islamic source, Let's I just made it up. Ah, okay. Oh, he's backtracking now, he's no, backtracking. Back. Back. I'm question. still waiting for you to answer my question. We're sticking to one point at a time. We're not going to go to you, No, no, you haven't answered my I'll question. Ask a simple question. The issue of the caliphate. Where do you determine? So my question is not based upon there needing to be an Islamic caliphate. It's based upon a hypothetical situation. So stop sidestepping the question and answer the question. In a hypothetical Islamic caliphate, would you want a law like that to be passed? Yes or no? Yeah. How would you in, in an Islamic country? In, in, in an Islamic country, country it's Islamic different. Is that a yes? Is that a yes? It kind of sounds like a yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm asking well, you because you're saying, where do you want this actually system to be determined? Okay, so let's move this conversation forward okay. because he's just ignoring the point. But we know that that's what he means in his heart. Yeah, yeah. We know that's what he means in his heart, right? So, can we do better than Islam? Yes, we can. Christ said, I'm going to explain. Christ said that you love your neighbor as you love yourself which is straight out of the Old Testament. Yeah. So even the Jews can do better than the Muslims by following the Old Testament. And we Christians can do better than the Muslims by following Jesus Christ in the New Testament. Which means this, we can do better than a so-called perfect system. The only way this brother can save his religion is to demonstrate how the principle that my life should be valued at half of his is fairer than saying, love your neighbor as you love yourself. So what rights you want for yourself, you give to your neighbor. So just demonstrate that. But that's it. This, the one you mentioned right now, from my point of view, I've never heard this before. Doesn't matter, it's still there. It doesn't does matter, because you're fabricating something. Oh, I'm fabricating. Well, so is the Islamic website from which I got it from then. You need to take it up with them. You can make it up, I can make it up. You, 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 you need to, you need so to take I'm it up. Not, I'm, I'm sorry, that is not an argument. Just saying, oh, he's made it up, is not an argument. It's not a fantasy. Do you know that it's a fabrication? It could be. Are you? No, 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 not a could be. You said it is a fabrication. Do you know it's a fabrication? I can't determine your... Right, so you don't know, do you? So you don't know, do you? So you just lied, didn't you? You stated as a fact that it was a fabrication. And I've just asked you, do you know it's a fabrication? And you can't. Because I asked you. I asked you specifically. So you don't know? 
Let me ask you. Yeah, can I ask you a question? I'll ask you. I think it's so. You said it's Abdul, the narrator, yeah? Sahih al Bukhari, yeah. You're saying it's Sahih al Bukhari? This one, this one I'm going to read now. Okay, the first one, the other one you mentioned is Sahih al No, that one's Abu Dawood. Abu Dawood, which, that's what I'm trying to say. It could be we. Yep, irrelevant to the point. It is relevant, yes. So Sahih al Bukhari. Sahih is Sahih, right? Yeah, that's the point. Great, he's just said Sahih is Sahih. Tell everybody what Sahih means. You wanna go and do to I just want you to tell everybody yeah. what Sahih means. Authentic narration. Authentic, authentic narration. Yeah. Right, he's gonna backtrack. He's gonna say I'm making this one up as well. Okay? The legal regulation of the dia, the compensation for a crime of murder, and the releasing of captives, and the judgment is that no Muslim should be killed in the Kisas for the killing of a Kufar. So in other words, if a Muslim kills a Muslim, the Muslim family of the victim can demand the life of the Muslim perpetrator. But if a Muslim kills a Christian, the Christian family or the Jewish family cannot demand the life of the Muslim perpetrator. Do you want to see that established in law? No, today. In an Islamic caliphate? Yes. Yes. Islamic caliphate. yes. It's a good question. Got a good question. I'm looking for an answer. I know you look at the answer. The answer is? I mean, in our time and age, I don't think it would be possible. No, that's not the question. <laughs> no, no, that was not you're my question. Okay, you're saying in that case, I didn't say whether it that, could. That situation could be issued. No, I, that, no, 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 you're not answering my question. You just reinvented the question. The, the question, let, let, let me just restate the question. The restatement of the question is this. The restatement of the question is this. Do you want to see a law like that applied in an Islamic caliphate? Sorry? It's a possibility, yes. It's a possibility, yes. Ah. I think everyone with common sense knows what he's really saying is yes. yes. Yeah. That's what he's really saying. He wants this life to be less valued than his life. He wants my life to be less valued. That's exactly what that's exactly what we've just that's, established. That's what I'm trying to, let, me, so justify let, me, let me make something clear. Just, let me explain it. Let me justify it. Yeah. He's gonna justify it now. Oh, okay, okay. So we're not debating whether it's he wants it. Now he wants it, he's gonna justify it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You, need to, you need to understand first I'm, let me make point one, yeah? You need to actually specifically understand this actual hadith. What is it? The yeah. essence behind it, what does it specifically mean? Sure. What time period did it was it established? Do you understand? Yeah? yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Our time now has changed. There's a lot of things have changed. The knowledge has changed, society has changed. Yeah. So, so this narration it could have been applied in the past, in yeah. the time of Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. 1400 years ago. Do you understand? Yeah. So in our time and age, can we apply that today? Right, so let me ask That's you this. That's what you need to understand. To understand. So was Islam perfected today or was it perfected in Muhammad's day? There you go. So how can you improve upon perfection? Yeah. What you're saying is let's change Sharia law for today. But Islam says that Islam was perfected in the 7th century, so why do you need to change it? You have Sharia law in a Muslim established country, not in a country that's not Islam. You're still not answering. Yeah, that's avoiding the question. You're going to Sharia law. Have I talked about anything else? He's saying now I'm going to Sharia law. Have I talked about anything else other than Sharia law? But here's, here's the crux, bro. I am telling you, I am arguing the point to every Muslim that can hear my voice and to every Muslim that watches this that it, Christianity is intrinsically better than Islam. You need to bring your proof So, my proof. Christianity and Judaism. I'm indicating. Yeah, I'm indicating. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. So, we believe as Christians that you should treat your neighbor like you wanted to be treated. So that guides our principle of law. So if we want our lives to be valued at £50,000, we have to say that your life should be valued at £50,000 because you're our neighbor. Now, would you agree that that is fairer than what we've just found in the Islamic law? That's, that's, you're, you're, you're saying that. That's not a quote from the Bible. Is it? Is that, is that a quote from the Bible? No, that you should love your neighbour as you love yourself. Yeah, that's a quote from the Bible. That's it, regards to... Uh, in, in, yeah, it's how you apply it. No, it is. Give me one quote from the Bible that you mentioned, specifically. Yeah? Yeah. And that's actually the Jizya. Jizya that you mentioned. So actually no, I, I mentioned the Dia, not the Jizya. The Jizya and Dia is similarities. No, I'm talking about the... I'm talking about the... I'm talking about I'm talking about the deer, not the jizya. Stop trying to change the subject. Okay. Let's go back to the main point. Go back to the point you mentioned. Like I don't even think you know my main point. What's my main point? Go back to the point issue. Uh, the equal right of the Muslim and Christians and how they are treated. Yeah. yeah. It's the uh, unequal right. In, uh, unequal right. Yeah. yeah. What does the Bible say? Specifically? So yeah, not from what you say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Bible, so the Bible teaches as our guiding principle. It's called the golden rule. Yeah. 
And Jesus himself said, he said, the, the, the Pharisees came to him and he said, good teacher, upon which do the laws of Moses hang? And Christ replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And the second one is like unto it, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Upon these two laws, the laws of Moses hang. So that means that these are our two legal principles by which we do law. So there, I've established it. Establishing that there, we're not establishing the point we mentioned in the process. Right, so how would you apply this principle? Here's the principle, okay? I'm going to give you a specific example with a principle. The principle is, we walk out of this park together, we're going to go and have a coffee, and we both get run over by the same joyrider, okay? And legally in this country, they have to pay compensation. How would you apply the principle, love thy neighbor as you love thyself, in terms of the principle, in terms of the law about the, how much compensation me and you receive? Everyone, there's, not, there's no equal right with that. There's you no might, equal right. On that, no, sure, yes, because you know that, clearly, because meaning you get £4,000, I will receive £2,000. Why? Meaning there's no equal right, Why? depending on your injury. Depending on the no, we both died. You're saying dying? Yep. No, I said dying right at the beginning, you just weren't listening. You've got to keep up with it. What's your name? Huh? Sorry? Zach. Zach. Zach, bro, like, if you've got... Then you've got to engage with what I'm saying, bro. No, I'm not the one that's diverting, because I'm the one asking you questions. So you're the one who's diverting. Anyway, let's, let's get to one point. What, what's the point you want to get to? Let's get to one point. The lamb itself, yes, it does give a poor right to the Christian community. No, it doesn't. I've just demonstrated that. Go and explain to me from this example how I have equal rights to you. This one I'm trying to yeah, go on. You've been one of You don't believe what you need to understand. What you need to understand is hadith. Yeah. Every hadith was applied at the same time. There could be another hadith that was not, not abrogated. I gave three. Yes, I gave three. There will be another hadith that could be the hadith that also was mentioned. More elaborate than that. That's what we need to understand specifically this hadith when it was applied to. It could be a time and period that it was applied to. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to make, make it clear. So, how have you justified the inequality? Because I didn't see your justification for the inequality. The inequality. Yeah. I've just demonstrated conclusively that Christians and Jews don't have the same rights as Muslims. You're saying that they do, so prove it using this example. So how are they equal? Are you saying there's other hadiths that contradict this hadith? I want to say contradict. So they don't, we, so we have other hadith that don't contradict, but this hadith is very clear about what it says. So what you're saying is, you're saying is they don't contradict, but somehow this doesn't apply. I'm like, that's exactly what you've just said. What I'm trying to explain to you. We need so to bring one of these other hadiths. Huh? Bring one of these other hadiths. It's, okay. a big, it's a big topic. So how do you know they exist? Huh? How do you know they exist? Bring them. I'm not one to What I was obviously listening to you, I wanted to understand your point of view. Why you even specifically bring up? Is this a chapter from Sahih al Bukhari? The one you mentioned now. The one that is um, Bukhari 983. 98350, the other one is 13111, and the other one is 452283, that says that I don't have the same rights as you in Islamic Caliphate. Because your life is not equaled in the same value as my life. But what I'm saying to you, bro, you know that that's unfair in your heart. You know that that's wrong, because we have a better principle in Christianity. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. That means what rights I want for me, I have to find those rights for you. No, it doesn't, because we've just seen in Islam it doesn't do that. Is it, is it wrong here? Is it wrong here? No, you, you keep mentioning it's wrong this, this and that. I'm asking you, is it wrong here? It's wrong there, this and that. I'm just going to explain to you, on that specific hadith you mentioned now, yeah. I could have applied it in a time period. You know, sir, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. You need to understand what it is. And when I asked you, do you want it to be applied today, you essentially said yes. I essentially yes. Yes, you did. Everyone heard you, bro. You said, well, maybe, possibly. Which is another way of saying, I'm in front of a camera, I don't want to say anything that's bloody awful, but I, I can't say anything that's against my own faith. So I'm going to go, oh, well, maybe, probably. So that's what you stand for. And you stand for this because your religion teaches it, which means that your religion makes you into a worse person than my religion makes me. What does it do? Sorry? I, I, I can't hear you, bro. I'm do you sorry. know about the last sermon? I think he refers to Muhammad's last sermon. And he's asking, do you know about it? Uh, I, I know of it. I don't know the full contents of it.
Irrelevant to the point I'm making. You don't even know the point I'm making. Irrelevant to the point I'm making. That's irre irre irrelevant, to the point. irrelevant to the point that I'm making. Yeah, right. So let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question, because I've tried with this brother for, for ages. Okay, so... Now please note how, how Muslims are celebrating the desecration of a church. Wow. This is the Christophobia that we're, 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 we're seeing in the park. No one forced him to do that. Nah. He just chose to do it. Okay, <laughs> because Islam fails. Yeah. Jesus said you shall know them by their fruits, and I'm consistently ready. we find Muslims are willing to stand up for things that are just unjust. Let's see if this Muslim can do any better. Okay, okay. Okay, so Kisas. You know what Kisas is, right? Sorry? Kisas is story. No, maybe I mispronounced it then. So the punishment, the, the way of deciding the punishment for someone who commits a capital crime. It's connected to Dia. Thinking about, he's thinking about the capture. So basically, the issue of suicide and the issue of um, someone's capture and uh, the Christians and Muslims. Yeah. Exactly. Captured capture people. We're talking about what happens when someone kills someone illegally. Do you know what Islam teaches? I just want to establish how much you actually know. Right. So this is what Islam teaches. This is what Christians have experienced in real time. If you go. This is what Christians have experienced in real time. And if you go to the Filipino embassy, they actually give advice to Filipinos who are coming to Saudi Arabia because it's still being applied today. Okay? It's basically about capital punishment. If I kill you, if I kill you in an Islamic caliphate, yeah, your family can demand my life as punishment. Or they can accept blood money as payment. Right? But Islam teaches that in an Islamic caliphate, if you kill me, because I am a Christian, my family can't demand your life. Also, it teaches, also it teaches, also it teaches that if you kill me, I'm just gonna pull up a number out of my head. My family has to pay you 50,000, right? But if, sorry, if I kill you, my family has to pay you 50,000 if your family accepts the blood money. But if you kill me, the most that my family can get is half of the value of your life, so it would be 25,000. Now let me give you the evidence, okay? Okay? So in Sahih al-Bukhari it states this, the legal regulations of Dia and the releasing of captives and the judgment that no Muslim should be killed in Kisas, capital punishment, for killing a Kufar. Okay, that's Sahih al-Bukhari. That no Muslim should be killed in Kisas, for the killing of a kuffar. That's me, that's him, that's him. So we don't get, our lives are not valued like yours. I'll give you that in a second. Abu Dawud, Abu Dawud states, the value of the blood money at the time of the apostles of Allah was 800 dinars or 8,000 dirhams. And the blood money for the people of the book was half that of a Muslim. Now tell me, Christians believe in a principle of love thy neighbor as you love thyself. So what rights I want for me, I should want those same rights for you. Out of these two principles, which one is better? So my question is, which one is better? It doesn't say you should kill anyone. It's not encouraging killing. Uh, you didn't, you're, you're dodging the question. That was not my question. I'm saying it's not a right. I am going to ask the question again. In terms of the principle, in terms of the principle of punishment, is treating that's what, rights. that's what I'm saying. Punishment and rights. Are not yeah, I'll ask you again because you're just trying to dodge the question. In terms of the principle of punishment, is it better to treat people equally under the law or to treat people differently under the law on the basis of their religion? You have to treat people appropriately to the condition. So what he's saying is, is it's better to treat people differently under the law according to their religion. That's what he stands for. So now let me ask that's, you this that's question. What I said. No, no, no. Wait, don't put words in my mouth. All right, then I explain what you, what you what you said. I said you have to treat people according to the condition. Uh, right. So, for instance, if the condition is Christian and they've yeah, been killed, that's, uh, I don't know what the condition is. You have to I've just given you the condition. You have to treat people individually depending on the condition. I will that's ask you. I give you the context. I give you the context according to Islamic law. I'm not a judge, so I don't. Know. I, according to Islamic law, if a Muslim kills a Christian, what comp and then is a that a bad thing? 
I don't believe I actually have to answer that question. I don't believe I actually have to answer that question. Yes, if a Muslim kills a Christian. Muslim is a bad thing. Yes. And we agree. Brilliant. Now, what should be. Now, one second. What should the punishment be according to Islamic law? I don't know. I've just told you. Yeah, but you're one, one, one point. There, there we go again. Do you see? Now, 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 do a thought if experiment. If I told you something about Christianity and I haven't. Hamza, do a thought experiment with me. Do a thought experiment with me. Yeah? Right? If the British government passed a law. If the British government passed a law that said if you get killed by a Christian, the punishment is not equal than if you kill a Christian, would you say that that's Islamophobic? I would be dead. <laughs> it's just it's just dodging the question. Answer the question, bro. I don't know. I can't answer. So in other words, what he's really saying is, um, I can't really. I want to say it's Islamophobic, but I'm not going to say it's Islamophobic because if I say it's Islamophobic, then I admit to injustice within Islam. Ah, okay. So it's not Islamophobic. So Britain is perfectly fine to set discriminatory laws against Muslims, and you've got no problem with that. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The Muslim is perfectly fine with us establishing discriminatory laws. So why do you believe in Islamophobia? Uh, what do you mean by Islamophobia? Uh, discrimination against Muslims. Do I believe in Yeah, do you think Islamophobia is a real thing? Oh, does it happen? Yeah. Is it wrong? Why is it wrong? Why would it be right? Why would it be right? Great question! Why would it be right to treat people differently according to their religion? That's exactly the question that I'm asking about Islamic law! Thank you very much! That was great, Hamza. You're, you're a star, mate. You're a star. <laughs> yeah, you're not a scholar, that's for sure. But the point is, Hamza, right? In your heart of hearts, just like this, bro, you know that it's wrong. You know that it's wrong. What I said right in the beginning. No black man is better than a white man. No white Irrelevant man is better, to my point. No white man is better than a black man. Irrelevant no, to my point. Except in piety. Irrelevant except to in my point. So Irrelevant to my point. Irrelevant to my point. Irrelevant to my point. It is to your point. No, my people point. Are better than other what was my point? A person who worships God is better than a person who what worships God. What was my point? What was my point? What was my point? Not politician. In? Inequality. In? In law. Okay, in law. And you said that discrimination against Muslims would be wrong. Yeah, Why? Yeah. Because why would it be right to discriminate against Muslims in law? But yet, Islam teaches discrimination against every non-Muslim. Sikh, Jew, Christian. If an Islamic state dominates, we do not get treated equally under Islamic law. That is why Christians must oppose Sharia law. Equality, Equality is not justice. Right. So, so, so let me let me ask you this question: Is it right, the example that I've given using Islamic sources, is it right to say that the punishment for killing me should be less than the punishment for killing you? Okay, again. Is it right? Did everyone else hear me? Yeah. yeah. Is it right? You heard me, right? Let's do this again. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this again. The question is depends on the context. So what context justifies the punishment being less for a Christian than for a Muslim? So I'll give you an example. Yeah, go on. Right now we're in a secular country, right? Are you agree? I'm uh, not talking about secular countries. I'm talking about Islamic law. Let me give my point. Right, like, we'll make your point then. It's an example. Right now we're in a secular country. Everyone living Jews is fine. If you had a Christian majority country run by a canon of Christianity and you had your rules, we as Muslims would have to follow. And likewise, in a Muslim majority country with the Sharia established, the Christians would have to listen to the rules that are in place in there. I believe that's fine. That's, right, that's, so, the that's so listen to the context that he gave as a defense for treating Christians differently legally. It's simply the Islamic law rules. That was his context. So in other words, he admits the point that I'm making. Islamic law would treat non-Muslims differently to Muslims. And the only excuse for it is that Islam dominates. But yet, when I said, if the British state... Wait a second. When We all got you on camera, bro. When I said... He's not denying it. There we go. He admits it. Fantastic. An honest Muslim, I applaud your honesty. I applaud your honesty. And that means that Islam is intrinsically unjust. And we know it's intrinsically unjust. Let me finish my point. I did not interrupt you. Do not interrupt me. I am not your dimmy. So, when we asked him, 
about whether we should pass laws that discriminate against Muslims in this country, he said that would be wrong. And I asked him why. And he said, well, of course, why would you do that? But yet when Islam does it, it's, well, Islam dominates, so it's okay. No, bro, it's not okay. We can do better than Islam. And it's called following the Bible. Because the Bible says, love thy neighbor as you love yourself. So what laws and rights I want for me are the ones that I want for you. If you That's a better principle of law. If you know the truth, you know the truth. Yes. Do you want to encourage people to the truth or discourage them from the truth? Ah, right. So the, the yes, I'm going to answer that question. I'm going to answer the question. So now his rationalization is that we will discriminate legally against Christians to encourage them to the truth. Isn't that compulsion? So, I never said four. So if I, if why you put word as mouth? So let me, let me. So let me, let me. So you don't, don't, don't believe in compulsion in religion? Word as mouth. Right. Okay. Let me, let me give you an example. No, go back to. Don't go move on. Go to the no, it's connected to the point. It's connected to the point. You'll see that it's connected to the point. Okay. It's connected to the point because Christians do not have the same rights as Muslims in Sharia law. He's he's admitted that now. It's not even a debating point. So, if I had you in a room and put a gun to your head and said, you can't leave this room, otherwise I'll shoot you, would you agree with me? I'm compelling you to stay in the room. Right. If I have a religion and I say to you, if you try to leave this religion, I'm going to kill you, am I compelling you to stay in the religion? Yeah, leaving, and leaving the room is two different things. Oh, leaving? So if I, if I force him to stay in a room by threatening to kill him, that is compelling him to stay in the room. But if I force him to stay in a religion by threatening to kill him, he thinks that's not compelling him to stay in the religion. Uh. Do, any of you know, do any of you know, excuse me? No, it's compelling. Bro. It's compelling. Humanity. The great gift. The greatest gift that God gave humanity, besides Jesus Christ. No. You as a human being, Jesus Christ aside, the greatest gift that God gave humanity. He gave you the right to choose. But Islam would take that yeah. away. Choice. Yeah. Islam will take Choice. that away. Choice. I've just given you an example. That's not proving in the religion. Okay, right. He says I'm not proving. Right, one second. No, 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 I will no. hold on one second. Can I brother. force you to become brother. a Muslim? Brother. Can I force you to become a good Muslim? You can force me to stay a Muslim. No. Can I force you to become a Muslim? No. But you no. can then force me to stay a Muslim. Islam. Yeah, yes, they are. Not by you. That's incorrect. What I'm asking you, though, is can, in, according to Islamic law, can you compel, can you compel someone to stay a Muslim even if they don't want to? They can run away and be killed. They can run away. So here's what here's what the Muslims said: If you are in a Muslim country and you want to become a Christian, you should run away. You should leave your home. You should abandon your country and your culture. Just leave. That's, that's really what you said, right? There you go. How is that? Right. So, so if we do that to Muslims, if we say, if you want to become a Muslim in this country, you have to leave the country. Would you say that's Islamophobia? Do you have a, do you have a apostate law in your religion? Answer my question. <laughs> You have a prostate law in your Answer like my question. Well, where's your proof though? You're so I will ask the question again. Ask it again. If the, British, if the British state passed a law that said, if you become a Muslim, you have to leave this country, would you call it Islamophobic? Yeah, but it's not Christophobic when they do it. Ah, okay. Oh, shock horror. Shock horror. I never said it wasn't. I said from the beginning, you encourage the truth and you yep. discourage the falsehood. So you agree so it's Christophobic? So you agree it's Christophobic? Yes, as a Muslim, He's honest. I want you to I've got to give him that. He's honest. So, now let's ask you this. Does your conscience tell you that this is right? Wait, answer to my question. Right, answer what's your question? question? Should you, if you know the truth, yes. should you encourage people to the truth or should you discourage them? You shouldn't compel them, you should encourage them. You should encourage them. The apostasy law, no I don't. No I don't, you're putting you words in my mouth now. The apostasy so law. I said I, I, I want to encourage everyone to become a Muslim. You're wrong. I won't force anyone. You're wrong. I won't force anyone. You're wrong. I will encourage them. You're wrong. Because I want them to you're be saved. I will have to hear you. You're wrong. So, I, I will so, not be saved. So one second, one second brother. One second. I gave you the example of compulsion, the apostasy laws. That's leaving, not entering. That, oh my gosh. So it, it is compulsion then. No. How is it not compulsion? Because you, you have the option to run away. You have go the go option away. to run away. You have the option to go away. But no, the law no, says no, if the, the Islamic no, state. No, there's a reason but you're that. saying that there's the Islamic. You're that. saying that the Islamic state has the right to kill you if you want to leave Islam, right? 
If you leave Islam? If you're yeah. Right, so there we go, that's compulsion to stay in the religion. <laughs> it's supported in the hadith the Muslims use. Okay, fine. But the, um, from what I understand, first the Quran says that there's no compulsion in religion. Right? Yep. So if someone has a choice to opt out, yep. that's their choice, right? Correct. So the hadiths contradict the Quran. I'm fully aware of the internal yeah. contradiction so of Islam. So what does the hadith say? So the hadith says that a Muslim can only be killed for one of three reasons. One, if he kills unjustly. Two, if he commits adultery. Three, if he leaves the religion of Islam. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay, so what hadith is this? This is in Sahih al-Bukhari. Uh, I don't have the exact reference. However, however, these two seem to be familiar with it, so I'm not making it up. Again and again and again. Is it a bad thing for wanting people to come to the It is a bad thing to force people to stay in something they don't want to be in. Really? Yes. Okay, so let me give you an example. You're, I don't want to make it personal. You're, someone you love is in a room, yep. is in a house. Yep. There's a fire, there's danger outside. She goes outside, she's going to be killed. Yeah. Is it wrong for you to force her to stay inside? In those secular worldly senses, no. Right. So, the religion of Islam wants to save people from entering But here's what you admitted. One second, here's what you admitted. One second, here's what you admitted. Is it right to force them to stay? To stay, not to Thank you. So you force them to stay. So that is compulsion in religion. Does the Quran say let there be no compulsion in religion? Or does it say, does it say let there be some compulsion in religion? And what I does the Quran say? No, that's linguistic. And this is what you, your mistake was earlier. You pick one principle and you forget about the other principle. Right. There's balance. You only like to go on one side. But always in all of these arguments that you made, there's, there's conditions and there's principles on both. We have to apply them both. We so have better when conditions. You say, when, we have better principles. When, you say, when we say there's no compulsion in religion, that means we can't force anyone to become Muslim. But we can there's force no people thing. to stay Muslim. Yes. So there we go. Ah. Yeah. You all heard that. Yeah, we yeah. can force people to stay Muslim. We want to encourage people to go to Jannah. Now, we don't want to is that compulsion in religion? Do so you want to make it easier? Is, is that compulsion in religion? Is that compulsion in religion? Yeah, that's not compulsion in religion. Is it compulsion in religion? Is it compulsion in religion? Is the religion of Islam intrinsically compulsive to those that want to leave? There we go. So we see that Islamic practice contradicts the Quran. The hadith contradict the Quran. There's two different contexts. Did you, did you say? One is entering and one is leaving. Are they the same context? No. So it's not They're both compulsion. Context. They're both compulsion though. Is, the so compulsion context? is right in one circumstance okay, but not another. No, I got your I got your example. I got your example. No, I got your examples. No, I don't need an example. I got your example. No, I got your example. But you're not understanding. No, I did get one. I, but, 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 you're only picking one principle. Bro, bro, it's like you're ignoring it doesn't half. reconcile like the contradiction. It does. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, okay. Let me give you an example. Go on, explain. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Here's the contradiction. Explain the contradiction. The contradiction is the Quran says, let there be no compulsion in religion, but the hadith say, compel people to stay in the religion. Reconcile the contradiction. So the context yep. is. You're not allowed to force anyone to enter the religion. Right. So there's no compulsion in religion. That's where it fits. Okay. The other side is you're supposed to encourage people not to leave the religion. Okay. That is two, <laughs> that is two uh, different contexts. Completely different contexts. Entering and leaving. They're not the same. Do Others might just call that a mafia. But... You agree. No, do you agree? Are they the same context? No. We're talking, because we're talking about the, the same action. Context. We're talking about Likewise. the same action. Okay, but this is my point. For you to understand Islam, you have to understand it in the way that it's taught. Not in the way that you think it is. No, one second. So I, I give you an example. Another, uh, clear no, example. hold on one second. I've got your example and I've listened to you. I've got your example and I listened to you. I've got your example and I listened to you. The problem that you have... you want to cut me off, that's fine, but I haven't finished. That's fine. The, the problem that you have... There's no point discussing. You don't have to let me talk. You have to let me talk until I finish. What example can I'll give you an example. reconcile the contradiction? I've, I've there should be no that. compulsion in religion, but we're going to compel you to stay. I've already explained there's two different contexts. Just like the statement, the Prophet said, when you go to the bathroom, when you relieve yourself, you should sit down. Okay? But there's other hadiths showing that he stood up and he relieved himself at the same time. You know what that demonstrates? Muhammad never kept his own religion. No. It's called context. In this context, when there's a clean environment, you're supposed to sit down. When there's a dirty environment and sitting down will make you more dirtier, then you stand up. Two different contexts. Okay, we get the context Leaving argument. And now let me explain why it doesn't work. So his argument is based upon context that we can do the same action 
that is prohibited, we can do an action that is prohibited in a different context. Does that apply yes. to drinking? Dying, you can eat does, the, does that apply to not performing salah? Does that apply to not paying the zakat? Does that apply to not yeah. saying the shahada? Does that apply to the five pillars of Islam? It applies to everything. So all whenever, of the five whenever, pillars of Islam are conditional. There's, whenever there's uh, a certain circumstance, yep. you can forego what you have to do. For example, if you can't pay standing up, you're allowed to pay sitting down. If you can't pay sitting down, you're allowed to pay laying down. If you're ill, you don't have to Brilliant. fast. If you're, one second. If, you, if you're broke, you don't have to give charity. Everything one has second. conditions. One second. What about saying the Shahada? Can you become a Muslim without saying the Shahada? Yeah, you think in your head. So you do say it in your head? You have to accept it, yes. Right, so... You're, but if I force you saying say something less if, less, if then it, it I'm count. sorry, but if a text says there's no compulsion in religion... Yeah, in this context. No, not, well, if it, there is no compulsion in religion, there is a principle within Islam that if a Hadith contradicts the Quran, which do you believe? The Quran. So the Quran says no compulsion in religion, but the Hadith say compel people to stay. If you were consistent to your own logic, you would. If you were, if you were, if you were consistent to your own logic, you would override the Hadith based upon the Quran. Okay, did I make this up? Let me, let me, let me drop it. Or was this taught in Islamic schooling? Yeah, yeah, that, that, this is. I mean, what I mean. Islam is full of contradictions. No, it's not full of contradictions. It's full of context. So there's more than the link when words have more than just their linguistic meaning, their literal meaning. So if I say to you, my hands are tied, it doesn't mean my hands are literally tied, it might mean I'm busy. Words have context. All words. Every word has context. No compulsion I can in religion say, sounds pretty absolute. I can I can call you a dog and I can mean it in a friendly way, like yo dog, what's up? Or I can say you're a dog. Context. Same word. But that's how words work. Linguistic words is you have meaning yeah, 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 yeah. So when the Quran says no compulsion in religion, it's talking about entering the religion. Plus, but I, it, I is is it, is it, it is compelling. It is compelling. Is it something that you it's don't understand or you just don't understand? No, because what, what you're missing. Because my religion well, doesn't teach to you. my scholars. They don't say. Uh, I'm they, sorry, they bro, don't teach bro. it the way you bro, bro. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If a religion, if a religion says we're going to force you to stay, everyone with a rational mind would say that is compulsion. Context. That is compulsion. And if, and, if, and if a religion says no compulsion in religion, it doesn't mean some compulsion in a religion, it means no compulsion in religion. What you're really saying is that the Quran should have said, let there be some compulsion in religion. Some compulsion in religion. So now the Quran is guilty of not being clear. So my arguments against Islam are now threefold. One, it is morally unjust. Two, it is logically contradictory. Three, the Quran itself is not clear guidance. But wait! Doesn't the Quran if, say that it's clear guidance? That, if you want to believe that, that's fine. But this is not what Islam teaches, and this is not what the Quran makes it clear. If you want to take it, what have we established? And, and, no, I, that I, there I is compulsion in Islam. And you're picking one principle. Wait, hold on. You're, picking one context. you're saying Islam so doesn't teach saying, it. Yes, I, yes. I argued that Islam compels Allah, people to stay, you and you agreed school, with me. So where am I wrong? If you go to a school, they will teach you the contents of everything. I have argued you have not that Islam that compels people to animal. stay in the religion and you agreed with me. Yeah. So I'm not wrong. You are wrong because it doesn't force you into the religion. <laughs> it compels you to stay which is the equivalent of forcing you to be. If you think forcing and staying is the same, then If I force you, if I force you to stay as something, I am forcing you to be something. If I stab behind your pride with a knife and I say that you can't go, is that me, is that me, is that no compulsion? Yeah, we've already yeah, tried this argument. Yeah. But, but, so for those of you that are listening, wait, wait, but, wait, wait, for those wait, of you that are listening, marriage, 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 I, am I am objecting and to compelling people to stay in the religion. You're picking something and you're choosing one context yes, and, and it's saying wrong. that's overriding. It's wrong. Yes, you are wrong. It's wrong. You are wrong. Yeah, the compelling you're, people you're, to stay. Your education in Islam is Because logically, sorry, logically you're flawed. You're logically you're flawed. Let me explain. Bro, 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 let's just just going to avoid my point. No, 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 bro, I'm talking. <laughs> if you compel someone to stay as something, you are compelling someone to be something. So you are compelling them into the religion. Your distinction makes no logical sense. If I force you to stay a Muslim, I am forcing you to be a Muslim. And you're trying to get out of this through okay. a logical inconsistency. You, you as a Christian man, can I, I Sophia is a mosque. You. I, Sophia can is I a mosque. Mm. And it's going to stay a mosque. Mm. 
Sorry, I was distracted. Say again. You as a Christian man, within my religion, am I allowed to force you to become Muslim? No. But you haven't won the argument. You've just dodged the point. Let me express the point to you again because you missed it. Okay, you missed maybe it. we miss each other. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me express it again. If you force someone to be something, so if you force someone to stay as something, you're forcing someone to be something. So you are forcing them to be Muslim. That's the point I'm making. Okay, fine, I agree with you. Can I force Thank you, you very much. So you can force me to be Muslim I if I don't want to be Muslim. Ah, okay. I will. That's it. Okay, so. Religion is better than Islam. This is the point I'm making. Obviously. We can do better than Sharia law. That's right. We can do better than Sharia law. As demonstrated, logically it's better, morally it's better. Do you agree that you should encourage people to the truth, right? Bro, you basically stood there and said that it was right to treat Christians legally under the law as non equivalents to Muslims. Do you encourage people to the truth? Yes. But you don't have to discriminate. When I'm discriminating, you I'm don't wait, wait, have to discriminate. When you have a child and you tell it off. Do you agree? When you have a child, do you and agree? You tell that child off. Are you being bad for, for doing something One bad? One for, for doing something That's bad? That's not discrimination, though, is it? That's not discrimination. That's the same thing. But we're not talking about children. I don't want you to go we're to talking hell. About, we're want talking about citizens. Paradise. So what you've got, bro, guys. You've got someone who I wants want Christians okay. to be treated differently than Muslims legally. He wants Muslims to be superior in law to every Christian, to every Jew, to every non-Muslim. And yet if we stand up to this despicable, inhuman ideology, what will he accuse? He will say you're an Islamophobe. That's what he'll say. So when we discriminate against Muslims, it is Islamophobia. Oh, okay. But when Islam teaches Christophobia, yeah. it's perfectly fine. <laughs> now, hold on one second. Boom. One second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Because here's the thing. I agree we can encourage people to the good. But you do not have to discriminate. Yeah. You can create laws that encourage the good that treat everybody the same. Yeah. He is saying, let's create laws, let's create laws that discriminate against Christians and Jews and Muslims and non-Muslims. Is, is it possible for a judge to wave off any punishment? Yeah, of course. What have you proven though? It's an option. How does that deal with my so, thesis? Some children, you have to be nice to them, and some children, you have to tell them off sometimes. We're not talking about children, we're talking about citizens in a state. Yes. Not children we're in a family. We're talking about love in a family. Love I in a love family. I love you, and I want you to become But saved. because I am a Christian, I, I should be punished. Saved. But because... Where do you get punished? Because you talked about... Where do you get punished? What did he say about children? Punished. What did he say about children? Discipline. Is discipline is punishment? Discipline, is, is it bad? No, discipline is a good thing. Yeah, okay. In a family. Okay. Equality now, in law when, is good statescraft. When, when, does, uh, when, when is a Muslim allowed to punish a Christian? So, let's be clear. He is trying Forget to defend. The law. The he's law. trying to when defend. Is a to punish a he's trying to defend discriminating against Christians in law. Put your hand up if you're a Christian yeah, yeah. and you want to live as a second class citizen in an Islamic that? culture. No. no. Now let's now let's ask a better question. I'm going to ask all the Christians here. Yeah, yeah. Who wants to create a legal system that will discriminate against him because he's a Muslim? Why would you be no. A boo. No. So no, Christianity um, is morally better than Islam. Why would you be <laughs> Christianity is morally better than Islam. <laughs> Perfect. No, in a, in a Muslim, of yours. In a Muslim country. You beat me why, why would you, No, I will hug you. I will bring you to my house and give you food. I will not treat you any different. I will hunt you. Is that a bit ominous? <laughs> <laughs> not pray, bro. I said I All right, fair enough. You food, I'll give All right. you food. You know about a Muslim country. You're not from a Muslim country. You're English, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to close. Wrap up, Bob. Basically, as we have seen from this very honest and sincere Muslim, but you have to be a kettle to yeah. is that Islam teaches legal discrimination against Christians, which means every Christian now has a choice. Do you accept that or do you stand against it? It says in scripture, this is what it says in scripture. In Isaiah 59, now Yahweh saw and it was displeasing in his sight that there was no justice and he saw that there was no man 
and was astonished that there was no one to intercede. Okay. Then his own arm brought salvation to him, and his righteousness upheld him. He put on righteousness like a breastplate and a helmet of salvation on his head. And he put on garments of vengeance for clothing and wrapped himself with zeal as a mantle. According to their deeds, so he will repay. Wrath to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies. To the coastlands, he will make recompense. So they will fear the name of Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. For he will come like a rushing stream which the wind of the Lord drives. A Redeemer will come to Zion and to those who turn from transgressions in Jacob, declares Yahweh, so that justice may flow like a river. That is your alternative. Praise the Lord. Christianity or Islam. Legal discrimination against Christians, Jews and non-Muslims yeah. or equality under the law which emerged from a Christian worldview. Exactly. Jesus said, Praise when he was asked, upon which law does the law of Moses hang? He said that you should love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind and with all your strength and you shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. Amen. Which means that the rights that I want for myself are the rights that I want for a Muslim, or a Hindu, or a Sikh, or an atheist. And Jesus said, upon these two laws, all the laws of Moses hang. That is a Christian principle of law, and that is why we have equality under the law in the West. It does not matter about your religion, the law should treat you the same. But as we've just demonstrated in over 40 minutes of conversation, this honest Muslim was defending the idea that Jews and Christians and non-Muslims should be treated differently in the law so that their lives are not equal. Their lives literally are not equal. The compensation for murder is not the same. 50,000 if you're a Muslim, 25,000 if you're a Christian. He defended that. The idea that if you kill a Muslim, if a Muslim kills a Muslim, the right is that you kill the Muslim murderer. But if a Muslim kills a Christian, the Christians cannot demand the execution of the Muslim. So their lives are valued differently. Make your choice. The legal principles of a secular Christian state or this aberration, this abomination, this backward 7th century discriminatory legal code called Sharia law. The choice is simple. If you allow the Islamists to impose Sharia law, that is the end result. And we Christians have 1400 years of history that would exemplify that and demonstrate it. Thank you, Bob. God bless. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob.